Welcome to Revival. Today will be the first in a series of many lectures on uh, respiratory physiology and medicine. We'll start with uh, discussing how the normal individual breathes. How does air go into the alveoli, into the lungs and then out of the lungs when a person inspires and expires respectively. Now remember that we, when we are discussing the respiratory system then uh, there are a few basic tenets. For instance, what's the difference between ventilation and respiration? Ventilation is the physical movement of air into and out of the lungs. It is breathing, right? It is uh, brought about by the contraction of the respiratory muscles, the movement of the chest wall outward and air moving into the lungs. That is breathing, right? That is ventilation. Respiration on the other hand is the phenomenon of gas exchange both at the lung and at the tissue levels, right? So then how does the normal individual breathe? That's the airway dividing at the carina into the left and right main stem bronchi. Those are the lungs, right? Those are the alveoli. There are, remember there are the airway branches 23 times, the 23 generations of airways as we go from the airway opening into the alveoli. The first 16 generations are conducting airways. And the reason for that is that they are lined by pseudo stratified columnar epithelium. Right? So they will not participate in gas, gas exchange. Pseudo stratified ciliated columnar epithelium is lining the first 16 generations of airways the last seven generations take part in gas exchange right uh, the first of those seven is called the respiratory bronchiole the last of these 16 is called the terminal bronchiole fine so remember any gas flow whether it's occurring in the lungs out of the lungs from the atmosphere into the lung or from the lung back to the atmosphere will always occur across a pressure gradient. There has to be a higher pressure at point A versus point B for air to flow from A to B and then a higher pressure at B than A for air to flow back from B to A. So how does that happen? Right? Remember the pressure here at airway opening is atmospheric pressure. The normal airways are a conducting system of tubes. That which means there is no drop or increase in pressure across the normal airways. So the pressure here also in the alveoli also is atmospheric pressure. Right? Remember that the lungs are lined by pleurae and the intrapleural pressure is negative. What that means is that the intrapleural pressure is slightly sub-atmospheric. What makes the intrapleural pressure subatmospheric? The natural tendency of the chest wall to recoil outward, the natural tendency of the lung parenchyma to recoil inward because they are oppositely directed. The pressure between, because they pull at each other, they create a negativity, a subatmospheric pressure between the potential space, in the potential space between the two. That's the intrapleural pressure. Right? So what happens? There is a negativity here. This negative pressure will pull upon the walls of the alveoli and therefore the intrapleural, the intraalveolar pressure, we'll draw it here now for ease of illustration. So atmospheric pressure at the beginning of inspiration but there is a modifying factor which is the negative intrapleural pressure. This pulls on the walls of the alveoli making them expand outward and therefore the pressure in the alveolus drops to a slightly subatmospheric pressure. Right? So air we can, there uh, an, a gradient is established whereby air can flow in from the airway opening into the lung. Why does then uh, the diaphragm need to contract? The diaphragm needs to contract in order to maintain this gradient throughout the inspiratory phase right what that means is what happens when the inspiratory muscles contract the chest wall springs outward 
So if this were to spring outward, what would happen to interpleural pressure? It would become more negative. Remember at the beginning of inspiration, it's minus 2.5 millimeters of mercury. At the peak of inspiration, it goes to minus 6 millimeters of mercury. Right? So it ensures that throughout inspiration, that gradient is maintained and air flows in.